Okay, it's that time of day again. Unfortunately, um, this conference is coming to an end. So, right, oh, a bit louder, please. <laughs> Better, thank you. <laughs> but, of course, we still have the sprints, so you're all invited to stay for the sprints. Be, be, because we did this poll for the, for the catering for the sprints and we found that only very few people actually uh, submitted something, we, we actually have food for 250 people on Saturday and for 200 people on Sunday, if you don't have a pass, you can just come. So uh, a bit of statistics about the, the conference. We had 1,100 attendees uh, at the conference, which is amazing, from more than 40, pe uh, 40 countries. We had an amazing 33 sponsors this time, which is a lot more than we used to have. We have more than 600 people on the Telegram channel, which is also amazing because last time we had around 400. I'd like to have you all thank the sponsors because like I said in the opening, without the sponsors, this wouldn't happen. And I hope you all enjoyed this escape room that Smarkets installed here and uh, all the other nice booths and the gadgets that you got off the booths. So I'm repeating myself, but I think it's very important to recognize the work that volunteers are doing. And so I'd like to call up all the volunteers on the stage. I especially want to thank our on-site volunteers, Francesco, Noah, and Rachel. <laughs> Noah is there. Where's Francesco? <laughs> Noah is here. I don't know where Rachel is. Anyway. Thank you very much for helping on-site and have basically, I mean, you wanted to attend the conference, right? And I, I think you helped more than uh, you actually attended any talks. So this is amazing. Thank you. Well, thank you. So we had, a very, we had a very small team this year uh, to do everything. We need to do a little better next year. So we are asking for help for next year. So if you want to help us run the conference next year, wherever it will be, we don't know yet. Uh, we have plenty of work waiting for you, so if you do want to sign up, please go to the URL down there, our website, workgroups, and, and sign up. And then we can add you to the workgroups, and then we can teach you how everything works in the workgroups, and then you can enjoy being on the stage as well. So, some reporting we have to do, code of conduct, as we always do. Uh, this year we had two issues, but uh, those issues were fortunately very minor. Uh, they happened on the Telegram chat. It was essentially inappropriate language for one incident. For the other incident, it was a recruiting message that we don't uh, support on the channel. And uh, this was essentially it. This is everything. This is all that, that actually these were not reported to us. We found them ourselves. Um, so I think you have behaved well, and I would like to thank you for that. Thank 
Right, a little word about Europrize and Society because we have the General Assembly here. Uh, we would like to thank the previous board who basically made this event happen. So these are the people from the, from the, from the well, now previous board, but these people made everything happen. So if you want to come up to the stage, those people who are still here from that previous board, <laughs> so giving you a big hand. And so now we have a new board, which is these people. So I'd like the new board to be on the stage as well. And giving a big, give them a big hand, because otherwise the next event is not going to be as nice. And now I'd like to pass over to Alexander, who is the uh, chair of the program work group. He has a few things to say. Yeah, actually, I just want to make some points on how the program pro process works. You know, we have a call for proposals. We have the user voting. And I want to clear up some, uh, anti some, some stuff I heard on the conference and make some clarifications. So if the call for proposals, which is clear, um, we have the user voting. So user voting is not deciding on the program. It's asking for the preferences. It helps us a lot on making this great program. So if you are highly voted, you're most likely in the, in the, uh, in the program. So basically, the Broken Pro Group is working a lot on review and, 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 and the quality. And there was some, some stuff somebody told, said on the conference, ah, yeah, if you make a good title, you basically make the pass the voting. I tested it. I tested this, this submission because this was like the most hype words I could come up with. Yeah, quantum artificial intelligence on the block secure blockchain. Secure blockchain. And actually, there was some, some discussion going on on Twitter. I don't really believe this guy actually yet. Yeah, this was fake. You were right. And it, I was really happy to see this got not really well on the voting. So it's not all about the title and the hypes. People do read abstracts. Though there's one call I really want to make for the next year of Python conference. And you have one year already, or like maybe seven, eight months to think, think about to come up with something, because we are very beginners friendly. And I'm very, very proud of this. We have Beginners Day, we have the, uh, the Jungle Workshop for women. We always take care uh, and we are really inclusive and beginners. But there's one thing we should not forget, and this is like uh, from last year's statistics. We ask, how many years of Python do you have? And more like 60% have more than four years of Python experience. So this is not a beginners only conference. We have to think about it. And on the right hand side, you see the submissions we receive by year. And it's, it's nice for the beginners and the immediate, but you see like there's a drop in advanced topics. And there, we have many experienced people here and I just want to make a call. Please do submit more advanced talks as well, because we have to include, be inclusive to uh, really advanced Pythonistas as well. And that's actually all I wanted to call out. And we have seven months to think about something really advanced. And thank you very much. So there's nothing much more to say. We loved having you. We want to have you again next year. And we wish you a safe trip home and enjoy the sprints. Uh, enjoy the sightseeing if you can in Edinburgh. And please spread the word. Thank you. <laughs>